Hello and welcome back to more Pokemon Shadows Yellow Edition. It turns out actually I actually just spent two hours, well not two hours, uh, getting Caterpie up to level eight. That's good. Let's not and say we did. Anyway, um, I actually figured out apparently the first two videos of this Let's Play are desynced with the audio and video. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Apparently, uh, there was something that was... Again, again, I forgot to set the stopwatch. Alright, how far are we by now? 43 seconds-ish. Anyway, apparently there was something checked in OBS that wasn't supposed to be checked, which desynced the audio completely. But I have unchecked it, so let's hope that it works. Apparently, also, there's a chance that in... Because in a, I live in a house where there are multiple people living in one house. Everyone has their own rooms. And someone actually came to my room a couple hours ago and said that there's a chance of coronavirus being in my house. In this house. Someone may actually have the coronavirus or a flu. So, yeah, that's... That's fun to hear. I also smoke, which is a bad habit. Also, this is a trainer that is exclusive to Pokemon Yellow. Let me just get this out of here. Let me just, let me just get that out of here. Anyway. Hi, do you have a Pikachu? No. Disgusting, repulsive thing, that Pikachu. I don't got one of those. I don't got a disgusting, repulsive P Pokemon. Go, Pikachu. <laughs> Uh, anyway, but yeah, someone in this house either has the flu or has, has uh, the coronavirus, so that's gonna be good. But anyway, I also smoke, so when she asked that, she was like, okay, don't leave the house. I'm like, I never leave the house, okay? I, I, I don't leave really leave the house. I'm kind of on my own. She was like, okay. But then immediately after that, I asked, so can I smoke in my room, or do I still have to go outside? She was like, eh. Good question, you're allowed to go outside. I was like, yeah, because... See, you're allowed to go outside for smoke. And then I was like, yeah, okay, I mean... I only go out, take a step out, one step outside. In order to, uh... I kind of just, like, open up the back door, take a step outside, smoke a cigarette for, like, a minute or two. Close, the, uh, put the cigarette away, close the door, and then go back inside. Done. She was like, alright, that, yes. You're allowed to do that. Because she's kind of like a person that helps me. Well, helps everyone here in this house. Six people live in this house, even though one person has left. Uh, moved out, and someone new is going to come in. And someone else is also going to leave, potentially, early in July. So by the time this video goes up... It potentially could be that that other person is already gone, so, yeah. I probably won't be leaving here for a while, because I am still not ready to live on my own. Oh no, really? There we go, won the battle. Now we gotta get Caterpie up in the front slot, so that I can actually... Alright, now the only other thing that could actually make this shit is if, uh... If, uh, OBS actually records my mouse, because at that point, I'm just gonna be... I'll throw myself out the window. I'll off myself immediately. I'll just off myself. God damn it. Which is actually not that difficult because I actually do kind of have suicidal tendencies. Somewhat. But yeah. Okay, I didn't read that first part, but yeah, he's like, come on, let's battle him. So yeah, but apparently there's a potential of coronavirus being in this house, which is always fun. I don't necessarily care about the whole coronavirus, except for when I go to, like, the the store in order to buy groceries. It's so horrible. That one's actually shit, because ha everyone has to get their own fucking uh, cart, like, shopping cart. And it's like, when I when I go with my friend, he usually has... He always has to buy something. I never really have to buy something, so I have to really walk... I have to walk with a shopping cart. But I'm not even there for, for to buy anything, which is really pissing me off, to be honest. And after, so yeah, that's that's annoying. And also, uh, in the beginning, during the whole coronavirus pandemic type of thing, 
you, uh, this, every store had like uh, a person that was cleaning the uh, shopping carts. Not anymore. Now they're like, you can do it on your own. But I'm like, are you really that stupid? If I touch the bottle of cleaning shit, then 20 other people have already touched this today. At least. If any of those 20 had the coronavirus, the bottle is infected. I also have to... Oh my god, what's the point? I'm already infected if that's happening. So yeah, it's not fun at all. And now Caterpie goes to level 9 because I planned for it that way. It needed Caterpie needed like 8 experience points perfectly. So no matter what's gonna go up to level 9. I actually wanted to get it to level 10 as fast as possible in here. Don't get a critical hit on me, I'm supposed to get those on you. Yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to get Caterpie to uh, a Butterfree as fast as possible. Kind of like a reference to the anime. So that I can also get Pikachu maybe to level 11. That's my plan for Viridian Forest. I don't know if it's gonna work though. Because Caterpie may need a, a Metapod. I should, I, I should actually say Metapod. Because Caterpie after this fight evolves into Metapod. I also hope I have enough time without my phone going off. With the alarm. Because I have an alarm. No, Caterpie can't out cut it. Oh, that's cut it. It almost looks like an O. Caterpie can't cut it. Yes, because your Caterpie lost a mine. Speaking of Caterpie, say goodbye. Because Caterpie is evolving. Da, 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 da. God, this is exciting. Now, the thing is, when Caterpie evolves to Metapod level 7, at that level, it learns. That's a weird. Anyway, it learns Harden. Now, I don't actually care about Harden, so I decided to evol evolve it to level 9, which means that the next level Metapod will evolve to Butterfree. Which is 121. Ex that's l way less than I was expecting. That might actually be the next. Actually, nah. I'll go back and heal, you know what? I, I got nothing better to do. I also don't want to use... Ah, oh, crap. I just spent like an hour and a half or longer training up or grinding up my Caterpie from level... And well, my Pikachu. My Pikachu was easy. Uh, but anyway, Caterpie from level... Uh, I think it was level 6 at the end of the last video up to level 8. And I completely forgot for some reason, oh crap, that there was a speed up feature. God, I'm an idiot. I am an actual idiot. I, last video I was also complaining because I thought the desync audio happened because of the speed up, but it didn't. And now I'm like, right, there's a speed up feature. It's like, how stupid am I? Yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to get the Pokemon Coliseum soon, because I kind of want to have Coliseum and Yellow going on at the same time, kind of in the whole Pokemon Shadows, one continuity type of thing. Those two stories happen at the same time, but they all happen at like a certain point. So eventually this is going to be turning into a part A and part B. So 35A and 35B. 35A could be Yellow and 35B could be Coliseum. It's gonna be something like that, so that's gonna be fun and totally not confusing. But I hope you all will enjoy what I have planned for the channel, cause God, it took me a while actually to actually muster up the uh, confidence to do this again. Yo, you can jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Excuse me, what? You can't jam out if you are a Pokemon trainer. What the hell does that mean? Ah. A pool of experience points. Go, Metapod. Kick his ass. He's probably not gonna do anything but hard. Ah, oh, fuck. No, not Harden. Ah, oh, this fight's gonna take forever because of Harden. I'm now just mashing the A button and I don't know if you guys can hear it. Because apparently this mic can pick up a lot of noise, but also not really. I also hope that the audio is good com for... Uh, uh, the audio of my mic and the audio of the game is uh, good 
there's a good balance because I didn't want the audio of the game to be too loud but I also don't want the because this mic is has a low volume on its own really or at least it feels that way it feels like it has a low volume which I don't really like and apparently there's like because I looked it up and the blue snowball apparently is supposed to have a lot of different options for uh, audio yeah the ice version does not have that which is the version that I have which is terrible Alright, can we just win? I want my butterfree. Give me my butterfree, you prick. Oh my god, please take him out now. Don't let it be another hit. Thank you, Metapod. Alright, Caterpie. Thank you. An easy Pokemon to take out. We got around maybe like nine, ten, 9 to 10 minutes. But let's just say 9 minutes before we end the video. I haven't uploaded the second video yet. Alright, Metapod, we don't have time for this. I need Butterfree now. Please, Metapod. I'm also sitting a little bit further away from the mic because I don't want to have the mic in my face. Alright. Fingers crossed that he's going to level up. Yes! Level 10! We did it. Good job, Metapod. Now go, Pikachu, kick the crap out of this other Metapod. God, I can't wait to get the Butterfree that I do so desperately deserve. Get him! Kick his ass so we can actually get Butterfree. Kill him! Come on, you shit. Give me Butterfree. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon. I got 60 bucks and a Butterfree! Yes! Ah! Oh, two hours of my life wasted just trying to get this idiot leveled up so I could have a me two evolutions in one video. I didn't know it was gonna be two trainer battles away. Yes! Confusion. It's what I need. Alright, time for Pikachu to get back up in the front slot, so... Yeah. Also, when I first showed my uh, YouTube channel to my friend, he actually said that I sound bored, but I'm actually trying to do emotion with my voice, but I can't do it. I always sound bored. I guess because I maybe I don't have a soul. Yeah, okay. God, I can't wait. Isn't it in Ruling City? I hope it's Pewter City, but I think it's Ruling City where you can buy repels. Oh, by the way, for the rest of this... Uh, place we're gonna be using Pikachu cuz I kind of want to get out of here and also because of the fact that Caterpie uh, Butterfree sorry old habits die hard Butterfree doesn't need any more experience points get him my fucking uh, speakers just turn off cause that always gives off like a poof sound Yes, level 11, my plan worked. Yes, this is why I had that plan. <laughs> Alright. Uh, easy, easy. Can't get rid of Thundershock, I need that. I actually did that once. I actually got rid of Thundershock and then immediately after that saved without even realizing. The next day when I woke up, I turned on the game. And I was like, Pikachu, it's Thundershock. Didn't know it. Also, let's give Butterfree its battling debut against the Metapod. I think this is actually a Metapod that knows Tackle. Alright, I hope that this works. Can I... Yes! I just I wanted to... Use, I just wanted to get Confusion up to the front slot, but yeah. Confusion is going to be my main attack against the next gym. Yep. This is a Caterpie that evolved into Metapod. This is a Metapod that evolved from a Caterpie, actually. Critical hit. That's how we... Ah, look at that. Butterfree. Instantly, I'm impressed. Instantly, I'm impressed. But I'm not gonna use Butterfree anymore in this uh, forest because Pikachu actually needs to level up a bit. Oh, no, wait. This trainer only exists in Fire and Leaf Green. 
Oh my god, why are there so many different versions of Kanto? That's also what pisses me off. You got like red, blue, yellow, fire and leaf green, which technically were actually better. Um, and then, but also you have the returns in a sense in gold, silver, crystal, hard gold and soul silver. You got, as you would can potentially call it in some of the newer games with like Sun and Moon and X and Y, the whole Kanto-esque type of things in there. But also you have Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which to me are the worst Pokemon games right after Sword and Shield. Because those games, in my opinion, are actually not good. They took out my boy Sceptile, and when you take out Sceptile, that means war. We will eventually get it in the Pokemon Shadow series. But it's gonna take way longer than anyone is hoping for. Kill him! And level up, please, Pikachu, because I feel like Caterpie... I mean, Caterpie, what? Hell is wrong with me. Again, Caterp Butterfree. That damn it, brain. Get into my brain that Butterfree exists. I don't think I've ever. I mean, Metapod is though. It's either Caterpie or Butterfree, because Metapod was with me for like a battle. And I was, okay, should not have opened my mouth. I was like, I was gonna say, let's get out of here, and then a Pidgey appeared. The only wild Pokemon I actually want to see, but I'm not gonna actually search for, is Pidgeotto. Just appear, you piece of garbage. Yeah. Damn it. Thought it was gonna appear. Alright, you're a couple of seconds behind, I think. Uh, yep. About to reach 17 minutes. Ah, oh, shit. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Here we are, Pewter City. We have arrived. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns EXP. Where's the damn, uh... Pewter City? Pewter City, a stone grey city. Well, that's, that's entirely true, yes. Also, this is the first game where the Pokemon actually decided to introduce a bit of color. Now let's heal up. Pikachu and Butterfree need that. But yeah. And also when I said in uh, either the last video or the one before that. That I actually wasn't going to have. Going to catch a lot of Pokemon. I was actually right. I think I'm going to catch maybe one, maybe two more Pokemon. Everyone else that I'll get is a gift. Alright, now here's something fun. Here we got a Jigglypuff. And we're finally free! We've escaped Pikachu! It's the dumbass asleep. You better not wake up or I will actually hit you in the head. Ah, crap, you woke up. No, he's back! Jigglypuff, help me! Put him to sleep, I'm abandoning Pikachu. Bye-bye Pikachu, I guess. <laughs> I'm actually not gonna abandon P- Yeah. Bye! See ya! Damn, Pikachu woke up and found me. Yeah, it's neutral towards me. But yeah, we have now arrived in Pewter City, the Stone Grave City, or whatever it was called. There's a lot to do here, but first of all, let me just mention here that it, once you get the H... Before I forget, it, when you get the HM for cut, you, and you can come back here, you can cut this tree down. Get out of my way, Pikachu. And then go inside of that part of the mu museum, and I'll show it from this side, I guess. And, yeah, I'm not doing that, no. Sorry. And then up there you have an old amber, and you can bring that to Cinnabar Island eventually, and then you can get yourself an Aerodactyl. Just in case I forget to mention, or maybe even get it. Because I don't even know if I really want to get it. Now, speaking of getting something, I need to know this for sure. Is there a repel in here? No. Okay, I feel my dr my hopes just shatter. They just got snapped away by Thanos's snap. Bastard. Anyway, this will be do it for this video. Next time we will be uh, challenging the gym leader Brock. And yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell. Be and I say this kind of stuff because it seems like everyone does it, so it's kind of like, it's just the norm, let me do it too. But anyway, stay tuned for more, because there will hopefully forever and always be more videos to come. Bye.